Indian authorities are pushing back as nationwide protests grow over a controversial citizenship law. Hundreds of protesters have been detained and strict bans imposed on public gatherings in some areas. And several metro stations in New Delhi have been shut. Internet services in parts of the capital have also been cut. Our correspondent Neha Punya is monitoring development in New Delhi and she joins us now. Neha, we know that police have detained hundreds who have actually defied a protest ban. Has it actually worked to thwart, you know, the, the large-scale protests? Absolutely not. It's done the exact opposite. On Thursday morning, you had uh, police quite suddenly announcing in many parts of the country that prohibitory orders uh, were implemented, which would essentially ban the assembly of four or more people. Instead of deterring protesters, we've actually seen more people come out onto the streets. They've defied that uh, curfew, uh, many of them courting detentions, uh, not just here in Delhi, but at least five other Indian cities have witnessed similar scenes. And uh, many of those detained protesters have eventually been let go and in Delhi what happened was the two protests that were scheduled in different parts of the city then um, uh, those protesters came together one in one site and they've held a much bigger demonstration that was originally planned uh, we also are seeing internet services uh, continue to be suspended uh, they are intermittently working in some parts of the city but uh, those three uh, major service providers in India confirming that they were suspended uh, and it was a planned outage at the government uh, order. It's unclear when those services will fully resume. Uh, some, uh, some metro stations have uh, reopened uh, in the last few hours, but uh, about 10 metro stations uh, continue uh, to remain shut. And uh, there's a lot of heavy security presence on the ground still. You still have police on standby at many of these protest venues where uh, you d have demonstrators still um, uh, coming together, singing slogans, holding up placards, refusing to go home. And uh, at those sites, you've got water cannons on standby. And you've also got uh, police uh, uh, ready to intervene if something goes wrong. By and large, it's been a very peaceful day in most parts of the country, except for two instances of violence, both coming in from the state of Uttar Pradesh in North India, where there was a blanket uh, uh, prohibitory order in place. But in spite of that, uh, protesters did come to the streets. Uh, some vehicles were torched, but now that situation is under control. And the uh, Home Minister Amit Shah has hinted that there could be some changes, perhaps, to the uh, citizenship law to address uh, protesters' concerns. What sort of amendments are possible uh, and when? We did hear uh, from Home Minister Amit Shah um, earlier this week where he had uh, indicated that there would be some changes, but the sense we're getting is that uh, they would only be to the extent of excluding some states in India's northeast where the protests actually first started. And the reason for that is um, the state governments there have expressed uh, concerns about unchecked migration from Bangladesh. So the Home Minister uh, indicating that he's willing to hold talks with those states and try and see if uh, there can be some kind of residence solution but on the rest of the bill when it comes to the rest of the country he's uh, staying completely firm speaking just on uh, uh, Wednesday he said that there would be no rethink of this legislation there would be no changes this law will not be scrapped he's going to be holding um, a, minist uh, a meeting an emergency meeting in a short while from now to look at the law and order situation in the country uh, and the government uh, so far simply refusing to engage with these protesters uh, talking about how uh, this is a concern when it comes comes to um a security point of view because uh, there have been sporadic instances of violence and the government has said that they're willing to uh, encourage dissent they're willing to have people disagree with the legislation but they don't want uh, things getting out of hand and they're using that essentially uh, to put off any kind of engagement with these protesters uh, the sense also is that they're hoping that when that Supreme Court hearing begins in January 2020 where there are 60 petitions that have been filed challenging this legislation the the Supreme Court is going to side with them. So uh, for now, the government uh, seemingly buying some time, not engaging with the protesters and expressing concerns about the law and order situation in the country because of the uh, protests we've seen uh, for a week now. All right. Many thanks for that. Nihal Punya speaking to us from New Delhi.